Good morning. I was feeling really good before the workout and shit, I am so tired now. So I came in feeling pretty confident at a really good workout yesterday. And today I was supposed to hit a pretty heavy bench at around an RPE eight. Um, I was aiming somewhere between like 345 and 355. I think that would have been a good weight. But as I was going up, me messing with kilos, I just don't even know what the hell the colors mean. And then when, I get, when it gets close, that's when I start doing the calculation. And I think I honestly had it perfect. I had two reds and a blue. And I think that would have been like 350, 353 or something like that. And for those of you guys who are like, how are the numbers so weird? It's kilos. When you convert it to pounds, there are like, it'll be 341 sometimes or 450. So I had it perfect. But as I was listening to the music, I started getting hyped up. I'm like, what's another 2.5 on each side? The thing is 2.5 kilos on each side amounts to about 12 pounds. So I ended up doing like 363 at an RPE 17 and that wasted me like crazy. Uh, but I was still able to hit 308 for a set of three as my back off. I bumped the way down to 265 and I finished my four sets of three there. So I had, I don't know what, six, seven sets of bench, maybe eight sets of bench. Cause I stout, all right, what? what the fuck am I saying, what's stout? Uh, I start, I start my bench counting sets after 300. Everything else is before that as a warm up. So I don't know, seven, eight sets of bench. Then a lot of uh, bodybuilding. Usually bodybuilding is something I really look forward to because it's so fun, but I'm just so exhausted that I lighten the weight across the board. Just so I'm not focused on moving the weight as much. I'm just more focused on the contraction. And uh, after that, did some cardio to keep my weight down. I weighed myself today 190 at the barbell brigade scale, which is really weird because right when I left, I was about 186. And yesterday at JK News, I was, you know, I always monitor what I eat. Could be the beef jerky, lots of sodium, retained water, but man, four pounds, that's a lot. I've been watching my, my weight, so I might have to get at a second scale just to double check because the last thing I want is to feel like I'm on weight and then I weigh in the actual meat and I'm like four pounds over, which is a lot. So I, I might have to get another scale just to double check. But other than that, a really good workout. You know, upper body is always fun. Did some cardio at the end, get the blood pumping, and now I'm ready for a full work day. And it's not even eight o'clock yet. So when you're going through that chore stage where you just feel like you're just like running through mud and trying to get the work done, I mean, there really is only two things. One, pre-workout helps out a lot because the minute I woke up, I felt like I was in the chore stage. Since we film, I have to wake up an hour earlier. So I wake up at five and I'm like, oh my goodness. And I get up and then you know, the pre-workout helps. The second one, you gotta remember what your goal is. You know, that's like the most important thing. Now, not just the goal, but why you wanna do that. And you really gotta tattoo that into your brain. Cause that's like your North Star. That's the only thing that's gonna keep you going. You know, a lot of us, we got super hardworking parents. And do they ever wanna take days off? Of course. Do they ever wanna slack off? Of course. But why don't they? Cause your North Star is us. They wanna take care of us. They wanna put food on the table, you know? So um, obviously those are very, physical obligations, but for yourself, if you want the best for yourself, you gotta elevate everything to that level of priority and importance. And so that's what I gotta do. You know, I really think about what do I wanna do? Like, do I wanna be someone I wanna be proud of? Do I wanna be someone that Taika's proud of? Do I wanna be someone that Gio's proud of? That my whole staff, company, all my friends are proud of? Like, yo, I know that guy. And do I wanna be proud of myself at the end of the day? That's uh, the most important. So that, or double scoop pre-workout, dude. So I recently read this caption from my good friend, Charlie, uh, Instagram, Charlton Banks from RP Strength. And he wrote something that was pretty much to the effect of, it's always better to stay less fatigued because you can always get stronger tomorrow than to get over fatigued and then get weaker tomorrow. And what that means is, you will get stronger if you minimize the progression. Like let's say you try to jump 10 pounds a week, that might be too much, maybe five pounds a week, maybe one pound a week, maybe one pound every other month. If you maintain your level of fatigue, you will get stronger and like they say, it is a marathon. But if you overshoot it, like how I fucked up today, um, me hitting that 363, we'll see. Maybe next week I won't even go past 350 because I might be so fried, you know? So a lot of times when you're trying to rush the gains, instead of letting the gains come to you, 
you can really shoot yourself in the foot because you over fatigue yourself and now you have to manage the fatigue while still trying to get strong. So going to this meat prep, I really wanted to hit elite, but looking at the numbers that I'm hitting now, I don't think I will get that, just being realistic. Um, and being realistic is important because ultimately you want to have the best meat and like I was saying, you want the gains to come to you so you don't want to overreach and try to push for something that's not there. So for me, 949 is always the ultimate goal no matter what you're striving for, right? You always want to have a good meat. If I can hit 949 and then if I can also get a 500 pound squat, that'd be fucking amazing. Or if I just PR, you know, as long as I'm better today than I was yesterday, that's awesome. So I had 1350, I believe, roughly around there on my last 181 meet. If I could beat that, that puts me in a good place and um, I have a whole like, like, uh, like, uh, what is the word? I have a whole wealth of volume that I've accumulated that I will continue to train. And I do think I will hit elite this year. I, I'm pretty confident about that. I just gotta keep pushing. This is my first meet prep of the year. So, you know, a lot of people, they do two, three, four really solid meat preps to really bump the PR up and put 100 pounds on their total. So I'm just uh, like a third, a quarter way there. All right, guys, my meat's around the corner. Hopefully I crush it. And I hope a lot of you guys also sign up for a meet this year so you can really push your limits, see where you're at. And for those of you guys who are competing for the first time, it's not gonna be your final meet. Your first meet sometimes is your best. You learn a lot about yourself. Now you can really, really take your training seriously and let us be a resource to you. BarbellBrigade.com, we got the dopest clothes, we got shorts that literally last everywhere. We have a full line of supplements from pre-workout to pump you up for the gym. We got immunity support to help keep you healthy, performance screens for all the micronutrients you might be missing in your diet. We have our strength stack, which is our own custom creatine blend to help you get strong. We have delicious proteins so that you can feel your muscles. And last but not least, we have a blog post now every single week written by Jacob Ross, who is a high-level sports performance coach to a lot of NBA basketball players, football players, baseball players, all pro athletes. So let this guy's genius of a brain be a resource, and he's at your fingertips. You could pick his brain at our website every single week, BartleBrigade.com, and he explains everything from training to health to fitness to diet to nutrition to all kinds of stuff. So let us be your biggest resource in getting strong. Go to BartleBrigade.com and see you next time. Peace.